Good morning. Yes, good morning. It's going to be a big one. So That's right. A lot of people have been asking if there's any similarities really between Helene and Milton. And the, the problem, Amanda, comes in because Milton is smaller, mm -hmm. meaning that that strength and that speed can change so quickly. So that track can become really unstable. Yeah, yeah. So this is something that could change at a moment's notice, but it's something that you always have to continue to follow. We Yes, and we will. And it could be a Category 4 before making landfall. So I want you to take a look at your screen because this is going to tell you the story. See that area of low pressure? That is what's responsible for the showers that we're seeing this morning, okay? And then behind that area of low pressure is Milton. So I'm going to reiterate that. This area of low pressure is what we're dealing with right now with some of that rain that's coming in. This area of low pressure will soon move off the Atlantic, followed by Milton, okay? So Milton is continuing to make its way up the Gulf, moving at only six miles an hour. It's a slow mover, meaning that it can gain strength, which is why it'll likely gain strength to that Category 4 status before a regressing to a Cat 3 as it makes landfall. Now, again, this track can change because the storm is smaller than Helene was. So we're going to see changes before landfall happens okay i can tell you the storm surge is going to be a big deal the winds the rain and this is rain that this area certainly does not need they're still trying to recover from uh, helene so you could see here really uh wednesday by wednesday night really anywhere between wednesday morning and wednesday night depending on the speed we will see this storm making landfall so we're going to keep eyes on it i wanted to show you a satellite view because this is what that area of low pressure is doing this is where milton is right now so it's just going to be days and days of watching and waiting but here's what we know milton will be making landfall somewhere along florida's west coast okay everybody should prepare now and if you're told to evacuate evacuate. Do not question that because it's so dangerous. You need to do it. Life-threatening surge of over 10 feet is possible near or south of the center of the storm. Some localized areas, get this, could see up to 15 feet of storm surge. It's devastating. And we're going to be wet again because of that low pressure system leading up to landfall. Saturated ground means that those trees are already unstable, so they could uh, come up, uproot, and of course power outages would be likely. Rainfall totals over the last 10 days, thanks to Helene, have been just awful. And so as you see the next seven days, more rain to come. Let's get specific with it, though. For us, we're looking at about five inches in St. Mary's, seven across Jacksonville and Mayport, potentially possible, seven in Green Cove Springs, Palatka, Palm Coast and St. Augustine. And so it's certainly something we'll be watching. Future track will show you as we get into Wednesday. Keep an eye on your screen here and this storm starts to come in. There it goes. It's likely that it'll have high impacts to Tampa, Sarasota, Orlando, Daytona. And of course, we'll be getting plenty of rain from this, too. Strong tropical storm storm first force winds and you'll see that we're going to come in and see those as they continue across the area. So again, we're getting some showers out there right now, but let's take a look at the next seven days. These are my predictions. Once this storm gets out of here, uh, we will see improvements into the weekend, which is good because there will be Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning. We are continuing, of course, to track Milton expected to become a major hurricane later today. 51 counties across the state of Florida are under a state of emergency. Governors urging people along the Gulf Coast to take those warnings seriously. It is now a Category 2 hurricane. National Hurricane Center says Milton's expected to bring the risk of life-threatening storm surge to the area. Meteorologist Katie Gardner is joining us now, and Katie Milton is expected to make landfall on the other side of the state as early as Wednesday. Yes, it is, and with that, it could bring up to 10 to 15 feet of storm surge. Okay, so take a look at this. We've already got a Cat 2. By this afternoon, it'll likely be a Cat 3 and then increasing to a Category 4 before making landfall as a Category 3, again, bringing that life-threatening storm surge, the winds, the rain, Everything about this is just a monster of a storm. Now, the problem is this is a smaller storm than Helene, so the track could still shift a bit. The speed and strength can shift a lot quicker, uh, but we're going to forecast this and let you know what's happening. Right now, winds are up to 120 miles an hour with that 7 a.m. advisory. We're moving east-southeast at 8 miles an hour, so moving slowly, which is what's allowing it to gain strength. The pressure has dropped yet again, so the pressure dropping with the slow speeds give this storm the ability to gain strength quite quickly. Look at the rainfall totals in the the last 10 days. We've gotten immense amounts of rain from Helene and then just the uh, disorganized low pressure system out in the Gulf ahead of Milton right now. So in the next seven days, much more rain is going to come in. It's going to be devastating for many, many areas. If you're told to evacuate, you need 
to do so. Right now, we're looking at seven inches across St. Mary's, Georgia, down to Jacksonville and to Palatka over toward Palm Coast. Our entire coastline set to get upwards of seven inches, potentially more of that rain. Now, as you look at future track, I want you to take a look with me into Wednesday as this storm churns in, looking like Tampa, Sarasota, Orlando, Daytona, Jacksonville, and Gainesville are all, we're all going to see major issues. Also, strong tropical storm force winds to come in with this particular storm impact, impacting Tampa, Sarasota, and then, of course, even us here in Jacksonville. Now, the ground is already so saturated. We're getting more showers now, thanks to that low pressure system, that as we are still trying to recover from Helene, especially down in Tampa, and then you get more of that rain, more of those trees could uproot, more power outages could ensue. And locally here right now, we are seeing some showers. They will continue throughout the morning. Ortega, uh, Normandy, you're seeing showers down I-10 and 295 into 95 as well. So we'll keep you updated on all of it. You can read more about the tropics on newsforjacks.com.